Thanks guys for tuning back in some more Nitro Positivity. I'm Katie here trying something new or doing something different or whatever, but let's be honest, what I was really doing today was I was being lazy and I was just laying in my room watching TV and I was like, what am I going to watch now? And I watched this show called Tidying Up with Marie Kondo and it was pretty cool. She's a tiny fierce woman who cleans up around the globe. But she actually has some interesting ideas that I said I thought I should try out, seeing as how you can even see here, one of my drawers can't close because it's so like stuffed full of garbage. Also, I decided to try out Marie Kondo's ideas for clothes and the steps to getting rid of clothes and keeping what you want and how to organize them and hopefully I can keep up with it and I actually get rid of some of this junk that I literally never wear, ever. I have one drawer for pants, one drawer for stuff that honestly I never wear, like skirts and stuff, and then two drawers for shirts, and then one for tank tops, because apparently tank tops aren't shirts, they needed their own drawer. And then a miscellaneous drawer, and this mutton to pant drawer, so uh, let's get on in it. One of the things she said to do was to take everything and if you take it in your hands and it sparks joy for you then keep it but if not then get rid of it but thank the item for being part of your life and let it go um the first one <coughs> is this item which does spark joy for me i think it's kind of like my style and I mean, this is something that I, I do wear on a regular basis, and I do like it. I like the stripes and stuff like that, so. I'm gonna say, yeah, girl. I'm gonna put that in a pile right there. <laughs> I'm gonna start pulling other stuff out. I'm gonna be real, guys. This doesn't spark joy for me, but this is a work shirt, so I have to keep it. But I'm gonna toss it to the side like I don't care about it. See, this is a hard one. Like, this is a shirt I got when I went to Ireland. I, like, rarely ever wear it, and I remember at the time I really just bought it because, like, or got it because it was, like, at a place I had gone to, and I was like, yeah, that's cool. I want to get something from somewhere there, but I got other things that are more meaningful to me, and it's hard to let this go, but thank you. One drawer down. So I got all my t-shirts done, just down to this. And I do have a load of laundry coming, so I'll have to Marie Kondo that once we get to it. Let's go ahead and get into the pants drawer, cause that, oh my gosh, this stuff's so full, I can't even take stuff out. Okay. Okay. Now to this other drawer. This drawer is, I feel like, gonna be real easy because I don't like, like, any of the stuff in here. This is literally the drawer of, like, super girly stuff, and I am not a super girly girl. And then... You guys get the picture. Let's just fast forward through the rest of the drawers. So, good lord. So, that is all I should have been getting rid of. And, this is the stuff I'm keeping. So it's about half and half. It looks like that one's smaller because it's further away, but that's actually a much bigger pile than the pile right here. But, yes. Now, I'm going to get rid of these and donate these to Goodwill. And the next part, the next part of this is the folding. So, folding is all very important because it's the way that you organize your drawers and you keep everything separate. You have pants in one, shirts in one. I'm going to demonstrate. 
So you lay it out flat, fold one side in, fold one other side in, and then you fold it in half, and then you fold it into thirds. So you fold it in once and then in again, and then your shirts would stick up like that and they would go in the drawer like this. And so that way you can kind of like see more of the shirt and actually kind of see like what shirt it is and connect with the shirt and actually wear your shirts on a regular basis rather than them kind of disappearing under the bottom of the pile because that's what I do. I like fold them all like this and then like I put a million things on top of it and then I forget I even have it. Like I'm sure I said that multiple times. So that's what I'm going to do now. Let's get folding, baby! Oh, so this isn't a very riveting video. It's not like I'm over here friggin' doing brain surgery or something. I'm over here folding friggin' shirts, man! Now, pants, you do the same way pretty much. You fold them in half. You fold them in half again, like four, and then you third them. The only difference is you're not like folding the arms in because there's no arms with legs. There's just legs. Open this bad boy up. I am done. I got rid of so much crap. And like seriously, now my drawers are amazing. They actually open now. Everything's organized and nice and like neat. Look at this freaking drawer. This freaking drawer is about to make me cry. It looks perfect. It's beautiful and I love it. And I was able to cut down. Now I even have an extra drawer and I didn't even clean my like underwear drawer or anything yet. And then for this one, so these were where I put some of the items that I couldn't really fold that way, like swimsuits and stuff and then my hats and stuff like that. Um, I had like really thin tights and leggings and things that wouldn't like stand up because they were so thin and slick. So I put those all in here too, but folded them like the same way, but just folded them flat on the side. But yeah, man, it works. Like I'm all about this system now and I'm definitely gonna use it from now on. I seriously, like I can't, I can't stop looking at this. This is amazing right here. This is everything to me. I love this drawer now. I just wanna live in it. Look at it, I can see all the sides of my shirts. It's beautiful. I'm happy. So, you wanna learn how to Marie Kondo the fuck out of your friggin' dresser drawer, then you can watch Netflix, you can watch her show uh, there to kind of see what her system is and what exactly she does. What I taught you here is part of what she does, but she does so many other things. Um, she also has books that she puts out and I'm pretty sure she blogs or has a website or something like that. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me Washington Post. Um, but yeah, you can check all that stuff out there and yeah, this is definitely a success for me though. So thanks for watching. This drawer is, I feel like I'm going to be real easy because I don't like looking at any of the stuff in here. This is literally the drawer of like super girly stuff and I'm not a super girly girl.